Fast Entry Cash Receipts is used to record payments as a batch process that can be started and saved repeatedly over time. When you're ready to post the batch, you will then utilize the Update of Fast Entry Receipts program to post to the GL and member accounts. Fast Cash Receipts is intended for clubs that don't need to post payments against specific charges on a member's account. If this is needed, use the Integrated Cash Receipts program to pick and choose specific charges to be paid off. Payments in Fast Cash Receipts will be posted against the oldest outstanding charge, paying off each in turn until the amount to be applied runs out. To create a batch, navigate to Club Management, Processing, Cash Receipts, and Fast Entry Cash Receipts. From here, we'll go ahead and select our club. And to start a new batch, we're going to select Add Another Batch. Or if you need to add payments or edit an existing batch, you can go ahead and select that. Then we're going to go ahead and fill in the following fields. First, we have batch number. And this is user defined and should be something meaningful, such as the deposit date or the type of payment for the batch. So we're going to go ahead and utilize today's date. Then you want to enter the check date. This date appears on the member's account, but isn't necessarily the posting date. That's set in the update program. Be careful that you don't record a post-dated or stale-dated payment as your bank may not process it. There are fields in the Club Profile Options screen to help you control this. Next, we want to enter the member number, and we can go ahead and use the F2 lookup list to pull up that member list. And we'll go ahead and select our member. By default, the amount of payment will pre-fill the amount with the balance as of the previous month end. You can use this amount or override by entering a new amount. Member balance as of. This is the date from the member's most recent statement date. This might change from member to member depending on when they last received a statement. You can choose a different date by editing this as of date. Use date as default for all members. If selected, the system will remember the as of date for all entries in this batch. To add the entry to the batch, click enter on your keyboard. Note that multiple members can be added to the batch. The system will show all existing entries and a total of them in the previous entries at the bottom. Modified entries, which are any new entries that have been recently added to the batch. And the batch total. Any new entries that have been recently added to the batch will be noted with an N beside the amount. You can come back into this cash receipt and add more entries later on, but before the batch has been posted. If you want to edit or remove a member and payment amount, double click on their name, and in the pop-up window, select Edit or Remove. Once you have completed adding all your entries, go ahead and click OK. Now that we have created the batch, we want to go ahead and update and post it. We can do so by navigating over to Club Management, Processing, Cash Receipts, and Update a Fast Entry Receipts. Go ahead and select your club, and if you have multi-banking turned on, select the bank account that will be used. Then go ahead and select the batch to update. And we're going to fill in the following fields. For the preview option, we suggest leaving this at detail. Go ahead and set your desired date of record, and if needed, update the statement description. This message will appear on the member statement. From here, go ahead and click the preview button to check for accuracy before posting. If everything looks good, go ahead and click the post button.